Yo dudes, hope everyone's safe and well. Um, the videos are getting messed up a bit from what I wanted to do for the next one coming. So in the meantime, to keep content coming on, um, I'm gonna sort of do some different stuff. Basically, the next one was gonna be wheels and suspension, or the next one was gonna be wheels, then it was gonna be suspension. But with everything going on in the world and things like that, um, I think firstly it's best that I keep that money in my bank account for the time being. And secondly for the suspension, I'm going to use a garage. I don't have the tools or equipment to do it, even though I know how to do it. So I need to wait for, for everything to sort of go back to normal before I do that. And I'm getting a bit bored of just doing the interior of the caddy. Having said that, so actually, so I may do a mountain bike video. Um, and I may do a where's my business up to video because um, I haven't really done a, an update on that since like August time um, but for now what we're gonna do is stick the floor down do the rear bit that I totally ignored the rear doors and um, weatherproofing strips and de wiper it as well Okay, so we've been trying to be as tidy as possible. I've still got bits where either the wind blew when it blew the spray over onto the carpet or alternatively, like I was just being a bit sloppy. So tidy this up and then we're onto the rear rubber. All tidied up and cleaned up now. Next thing to do is to move on to the rubber. So you'll see that I ran up to the very edge, up to the very edge of the metalwork with the carpet on the other side and then I just use the standard blade and cut all the way down. So the rubber seal was painful and you kind of got to stretch it as you're putting it on to make it reach the whole way around otherwise you do what I did the first time and get to a point where basically it, it doesn't reach um, so I had to pull it off a couple of times and redo it and pull as hard as I can each time to kind of stretch it around but that's on so now let's go for an easy win so I've just painted it up the same way I did the badges and we're just going to stick it on here Now, this bit's going to be awkward for the, the scuttle panel thing, Joey, that goes in here. I don't know if I'm going to need to cut this back anymore or whether I'm okay with how much I've cut it back already, but I basically want it to, to lie seamlessly so it just goes straight into the floor with the original piece. So I'm going to have to cut the original piece a little bit. So this is the edge that I'm going to be cutting. Um, I've tried to put it on so I can get a measurement of how much it is exactly that I need to cut off. But I can't even get it in place, so I'm thinking pretty much most of it's going to go. So I've been looking at it underneath. 
there's this line here so I'm gonna basically cut in line with that line there cut in line with that line there and then go and re reposition it and see if that's enough or if I need to take off a bit more and um, if I do take off too much with that then I can always just put like a rubber seal along the bottom um, <clears throat> but that's the current thought process I'm not going to film this bit because um, I'm literally just going to use an angle grinder so the health and safety fairies will have a shit fit okay so that panel's now cut down and put back in the door properly um, so it's starting to look a bit more neater and a bit more finished off and now we need to move on to remove the rear wiper motor so rear wiper arm has been removed I mean there's two different ways I could have done this to tidy it up a bit more so it looks a bit nicer than this so firstly you remove it all together and use a plug this is the plug I'm going to use um, secondly get a one from a I think it's a T6 which has like a cover over the top to make it nice and smooth and use that I don't have any desire for a wiper so I'm just going to get rid of it all together but if I did I would be looking at like the, the VW T6 wiper with the like the smooth cover over the top if you look one up you'll know exactly what I mean it's quite hard to describe so so that's off next step I need to go to the front and disconnect the rear washer hose from the motor um, which I've had a look already I think it's gonna be a bit fiddly for me because it's the lower end van so the washer fluid bottle is right behind here so on the higher end models I think this section is removable so you just pop it off and you can reach through um, I've had a mess around with this and I don't think it is I think it looks like it is and if, if you pull this off and you can see behind it's got the clips but it looks like it's a solid part of the bumper um, and there's also an access panel here for um, changing the lights behind so you pop that out and go in and behind and change the lights but again I've been pulling on that and it doesn't move at all it just kind of pulls the whole panel back a bit so I think that's also a blank um, which would be cut out if it was a higher end model so what I'm going to do is remove the wheel liner and see if I can see if I can get in behind by removing the wheel liner and hopefully I don't have to take off the full front bumper okay cool so got the arch liner out um, relatively straightforward so this is this is what I need to access um, and you can see it's actually around the front where these pipes go in so one of them will be to the front one of them will be to the back I haven't figured out which is which and I kind of need to do all sorts of shapes to, to get in behind there to disconnect one of them then test and then once I've figured out which one it is I'm gonna sellotape it to the other one and just leave that there um, and then put everything back here and then go to the back and sort out the back Okay, so 50-50 chance of getting it right first time, and he does it. So, what I've done, I was meant to use my Gorilla tape just to wrap them together, so the other one isn't just dangling loose, but I've just tucked it in behind um, the first one, so it's the one on the very far side that you disconnect, and it's nice and straightforward, basically. So, it's now disconnected. Um, I might come back at a later date and bung the hole up, but for now I'm just gonna leave it. All it's gonna do is, if I press the button by accident, it's gonna spray water into that area there where it's all fell, so no harm at all. So that's now there. Um, like I said, I'll probably come back later and, and sort of tie it up, maybe bung the holes to protect them a little bit, but for now I'm just leaving it there. Throw the wheel liner back on, throw the wheel liner back on, and get on to the back end of the van.
Right, so I don't know how much of that actually filmed because halfway through GoPro said SD card error and turned itself off. But we've got the motor out. Um, it's just this screw, this screw, this screw, sorry, this screw. Undo these clips. Obviously this is the water pipe that I've disconnected from the front so that it should be empty and dry and it's got nothing in. Um, even from when I tried to spray it before. And then you can't actually remove the motor because this is in the way and so with a bit of twisting and gentle persuasion you can loosen off these two ever so slightly and then just move this backwards a couple of millimeters in order to, to twist and get the orientation you need twist and get the orientation that you need to remove the actual uh, wiper motor itself and so this is what we're left with now so what I need to do is remove this and clean the whole area before putting the bung in that I have. Okay, so all cleaned up now and ready for the first test fit. So this should, if I'm right, just be slightly bigger than the hole. So I'll screw all the way down. And basically that's how it's going to be sitting. And then from the back, it's just like that. I've got this bit, screw over the top to hold it in place. And I'm also gonna use Tiger Seal to, to stick everything down. Um, so it should only take about another five minutes. I can't put the back on the door and finish it all off properly because I didn't order enough of the um, interior clips. And as soon as I realized I ordered some more and two weeks later, they're still not here, so just Patiently wait for those. Tidy these up anyway. I'm going to zip tie them down so they're not rattling around all the time. And I'm also probably going to put a plastic bag over the end just to protect the, the electrics. But I will test for leaks and things like that anyway. Okay, so that's it all in place with the tiger seal. So I'm just waiting for the tiger seal to um, dry off now. So a couple, of, I don't know, 24 hours, 48 hours until it's got a good, good seal and finish. So now. What I need to do is tidy up these wires and then other than putting the cover on, which I can't do yet, we're done. Um, I was going to use freezer bags for them, but we don't have any freezer bags, so just vegetable bags that I found just knocking about in the, in the flat. Okay, and so that's how we're doing it. So we've got the hose pipe or whatever it is, the, the water pipe. We only wrap that one in the plastic. I've tied a knot in the bag and then I've cut the end of the bag off. The electric wire is just loose and it's attached to this pit here with, um, how the hell can I forget the name of them things? A phalange. Um, so that's everything sorted on the inside, everything sorted on the outside. I'm actually going to put some sound deadening on here um, and then cover it over. And that's basically as far as I can get to now. So um, all I'm going to do is attach some bit more sound deadening just in there. Um, and then add the panel which i can't do at the minute because they like i said the, the clips hadn't come to attach the panel to the door um <clears throat> and then that's it i literally don't know what i'm going to do for my next video like i said earlier um the next step was to buy alloys but i don't really want to be spending the money with this situation going on i'd rather keep it in my bank account just to be safe um like i hope everyone else is safe so thank you very much and i will see you soon bye